following a jump in cases of a deadly mystery virus. The SARS-like virus, which has infected hundreds in China, has now reached the United States. The virus States. was being spread mainly through respiratory transmission and is likely to mutate, which will increase the risk of epidemics spreading. Late today, officials declaring a public health emergency in the U.S. Un patient est mort en France. Il s'agit d'un touriste chinois de 80 ans. Here's what's making headlines on this March 11. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Four states, including Oregon and Ohio, have now ordered all schools closed. It's a desperate measure that could have far-reaching impacts. My name is Amadou. I am 11 years old. My name is Fatima, and I'm 16 years old. My name is Lily Rask. I am 20 years old, and I am a marketing student at UC. I go to Roselawn Convent. I go to Walnut Hills High School. A pandemic is when there's disease that's really dangerous and that spreads fast that so then people have to stay in quarantine. When a disease spreads across the earth and it is like affecting everyone and not just a certain area. Though the teacher didn't explain because no one knew. At that point, COVID had been starting to get into the news. So people kind of knew about it. In the beginning of the pandemic, I I don't think I really knew much. I didn't I didn't really follow the news. Our school closed down. Walnut. It was very weird because they they gave us a robocall, being like, okay, uh, so school is canceled because one person had got COVID. We have to go home for two weeks and have a long spring break, and then everything will be fine. Which I I actually don't think I believed that. Our parents had to go to school, get a computer. Then we can do like school online with like Google Classroom and stuff like that. The first days studying from home were very chaotic because for me, only like two teachers actually tried to do it. UC adjusted really well and made the transition for me at least pretty, pretty easy. It was fun working at home. We'll do like the normal stuff that we have to learn and basically the same schedule, just a little different to online. It was kind of hard to like stay focused and not doze off or like to actually pay attention in the classes. For online classes, I think it was honestly for me easier. I liked being able to do everything on my own time so I could watch like my class lecture videos at like 10 p.m. at night and I didn't have to go to any 8 a.m. classes or anything. It was not hard working on the computer all day unless there was a glitch. Like something was wrong with like the meat. Like, or your Wi-Fi or something. And then this semester, I still, I only have one in-person class, and I have five online classes. I would rather stay home because, first of all, don't have to put on shoes, don't have to put on socks, don't have to go anywhere. A lot of people, including me, kind of like working from home and like not having to, like, drive an hour to work and then an hour home. I don't know if it can exactly go back to normal. I don't think that we're ever going to really go back fully to what it was like before. I think everything's changed so much. I think the world's going to be back to normal early 2023 or late this year, aka 2022. I don't think people are going to go back and like eat at fancy restaurants or go to big concerts and expect it to be exactly like what it was without the idea of a pandemic being in the back of your head. If you do not want to get sick, then yes, I think it's important to get vaccinated. I mean, I'm fully vaccinated and all my family and friends are. I think I'm very aware of some people who aren't getting vaccinated. And I think people should get the vaccine, but I don't know if like, we should be forcing people to get it. Like just in like my own friend group and stuff, I know that a lot of people are putting in the effort and getting vaccinated and everything. I think that there are 85% of people vaccinated. 60% of the population of Ohio. I looked it up. I think it was 60 something percent. I could be totally wrong.